okay so far now we have seen the angular like html css and javascript okay so today we are going to learn about the react first we will see what is react and why we have to learn the react and what are the advantages using the react and who are the competitors for react okay if you are learning react how you the things will be there okay so first so react is developed by facebook okay so this is a come they have, they have released around the 2013 and using the react we can develop the websites okay so you know twitter right twitter instagram so those are developed by react only and you know netflix Netflix, right? We watch the movies, okay? So that website also developed by the React one. Like using the React framework, they have developed it, okay? And using the React, we can develop the web applications, okay? And second thing, suppose I want to be mobile developer. I want to develop the application for mobile. Using the React, you are going to write a mobile applications also, okay? That is called React Native. But inside the React Native also, we are going to use the React only, okay? Same React syntax only, we are going to use it for the React Mobile also, okay? So using the React, you can go for a web developer or you can go for a mobile developer. If you have a web and mobile developer, that is a deadly combination, okay? Definitely your profile 100% shortlisted, okay? But that uh, if you know the React, you can 100% easily learn the React Native also. There is no doubt in that, okay? So, and... Second thing is like why this React is so much popular, okay? So this React has a library support, very good library support. So many developers are working, okay? And this React is a open source. Open source means uh, no need to pay anything for this company, okay? We can use it for free. We can use it for commercial project. We can use it for normal projects. Any projects we can use it React. Okay, and there are a lot of developers who are working on the React projects. That is the reason they have a very good library support for the React. Okay, and, and React is a component based. That means we are going to write piece by piece and that piece we will use it in all the places. We will not write the duplicate code. I will explain what is this one by one. That is okay. If you want to learn React, first go to their official website only, always. Okay. So this is their official website, react.org. You can read it here, tutorial is there. You can go one by one also, okay? That is fine. And if you want to, there is another website also. This is also from React only. And this is a new website for React, okay? Beta.react.js.org. Here also they will explain what is React and everything they will be from this scratch. You can go from either this website or other website, but always go for only official website. That is okay. So let us see how we can develop the this thing here. Okay. Yeah. So first I want to like we have seen like what are the websites are available for React. And let us see. Suppose I did not have any software to install it. Now I want to do it from scratch. Okay. So this React works on the based on the Node.js. Okay. If you want to run the React, we have to install a software called node.js okay so this node.js is required to run the either for angular or react or vjs also okay for any software we have to install the node.js okay so now what are the other opponents for react okay so for other opponents is like there are two other frameworks are there one is angular another is a vjs okay so angular is also more popular like a react and it has a more advantages and as well as a disadvantages also okay for learning angular it will take at least one month the time taken is process is much higher but in react you can learn very 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 short period time so it any developer who knows javascript very well they can learn in 10 days but in angular it will take a 30 days okay angular is a framework react is a library okay and we'll go more uh, depth in the react first let us see how to start with the react okay so first we'll go we have to install the node.js that is the first step this is called a, so what are the requisites for the this node.js okay first let us you can go to node.js.org okay you can go to this down node.js or simply go to google here and download the node.js node.js download you can download it here okay go to here and download the latest node.js and make sure that uh, you are using the latest one. So here, go to here and you can click on the Windows installer. Okay, you download here. Automatically it will download the 18.4, some version it is downloading. Once it, it is installing is easy, okay? 
just to open it here and click on next, 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 finish it. That's all, okay? There is nothing you need to do something like this, okay? Click next, next. Already in my system, I have installed it. So that is the reason I am not installing again. You can just click, click next and finally close it, finish it, okay? So there is nothing you need to, something if I want to do it, let me click here, next, okay? And what is next? You don't need to select any other option. Next, okay? And next, okay, install and finally, just finish it, okay? So it is going to install the Node.js. So once it is installed, now I need to verify whether Node.js is installed in my machine or not. First, that is the second step, okay? So once this is installed, let us verify it. Okay, it is still installing. So what I will do, once I install, I'm going to create a one new folder called projects, okay? So inside the projects, you are going to create a multiple projects. So for example, for sample, I'm going to create one project, but you can create a multiple projects, okay? I'll give you an exam example for the samples also. Okay, so meanwhile, it is installing. Let us go with the, so it is installed. Let us finish it. Installation is done. Now I want to verify my node is installed or not. So that is the reason go to your any folder okay right click here if you have a uh, or you can go to here and type cmd okay and it will open the command prompt something like this here you need to type a command called node hyphen v okay node for whether node is installed or not something like this okay node hyphen v so it is telling we have installed the 18.4.2 if this answer is coming that means in your system node is available Okay, if this is not coming, then there is a problem with your Node.js. This is the first step. Without this step, you cannot run any React. That is the reason we have to check it, okay? So after this, we have to check a npm-v, okay? I'll tell you what is this npm, npm-v. So here, uh, this is a node is for Node.js and this is a version and npm is for Node Package Manager and what is the version we are using? 9.5.2 zero something like that okay so once these two versions are coming that means your project is created fine exactly fine okay and what is this npm okay so here what is the npm means uh, there is a website called npm let me open this npm okay so there is a website called npm dot npm dot com okay here in this website what they will do suppose in our project i want bootstrap okay so i need to add that link right there. instead of adding that link we can download that all the files and we can keep in our project that is the best way okay suppose i want some other project like jquery library again i need to download that library right there. instead of downloading all libraries from specific places all libraries they will add into this site okay npm site suppose we want bootstrap here you can search for like a bootstrap and it will come here and we can install this bootstrap something like this npm for node package manager i means install this library name so automatically this will come to our project okay so this node package manager is nothing but a whatever the libraries are available all libraries are available inside the node package manager simply we no need to go to all other websites we can come here and we can download all the required libraries for our project okay so that information is available in the node package manager so whenever we are checking here npm okay suppose npm install something like this what this command will do it will download all the libraries from that website to our machine okay we no need to download anything or we know so automatically it will download all the libraries from the that npm dot site from to our local machine and that is a work by npm so np means node package manager it will manage the libraries that is the work okay so now the next step is now we have created a now we have checked the node node is there npm is there now how to create the react project okay i cannot you no need to create like a create right click new file and write that so you don't need to do like this okay so there are some libraries uh, there are some tools will be there where automatically that projects will be created you don't need to do manually okay for creating a react project we have a one command okay npx okay npx space create iphone react iphone app okay and after that you can give any project name okay any project name we can give it okay suppose here i am going to create a some payroll project 
okay so that is the reason first you go and create one empty folder here and here in this folder open a command prompt okay so here i'm going to type the command ah what is the command npx create iphone react iphone app okay then project name suppose i want to create with the payroll okay payroll iphone mgmt you can give any name here okay let me go with the payroll something like this okay enter so whenever you are going to click on enter here so what is the command npx means uh, node package executable okay so it will try to create a, a sample react project in our mission and with that name is nothing but a payroll okay so it is, sometimes it will ask some question let us see so installing react react dom and react scripts with the create template something like this let it will the, this installation will take some time okay because it need to download all the libraries from the react site and it need to um, put in our mission local mission okay once it is created here there is a folder it is going to create payroll so earlier it was empty right now there is a folder with the payroll so let it let it create meanwhile okay meanwhile we'll go here and we'll we'll see the control so here what this command will do it this command will create a new project so how many times we are going to create a new project in our uh, like whenever you join a company how many times you are going to create a project uh, only one time or daily you are going to create a project only one time we will not do multiple times so only whenever we are going to start a new project that time only we are going to run this command okay very very rare we will use it but it is important command okay so that is one so once uh, once we are done this one now i want to see my changes okay i want to verify whether my uh, whatever the application i have created whether my application is running or not i want to verify that one okay that is the reason uh, once this is done we will verify that okay so if you want to start how will you verify our output normally we can we'll open that html file and we'll see in the browser right so we should not do like this so we should run a command to start our react project okay so that command name is npm space start okay if you want to start a react what is the command name npm space start so this will start the react project okay automatically it will start the react project and we can see our output okay so once it is seeing here and we can see our output in the so by default what it will do so we are going to see our output in the local host colon 8 like 3000 okay so here http means what uh, protocol okay and this local host means uh, this is a address ip address okay local host means by default our machine only so whoever machine is running that is nothing but a local host only okay and after that what is the port i am running colon 3000 this colon 3000 is nothing but a one address in our mission for each software it will be running in a different different port okay port is nothing but a one separate number for each application one port will be there suppose i am running a node like a, suppose i am running a react the port number is 3000 suppose i am running a angular the port number is a 4000 i am running a vjs 5000 so each application will run in a separate port only one port can access by one number one application only suppose i am running react two times so already one uh, this port the port number is taken care by first application if i am running a second application second application will fail definitely because why it will fail already this port is taken care by the another another application so one port cannot share by the other people okay so think like a port is a unique number in the system it will give only one time for one application if i have given one time i cannot give for any other application that is nothing but a port number okay so which port number it is going to run it okay by default which port number 3000 okay so now we have created the project so first what is the command we are written npx hyphen create hyphen react hyphen app so after that it is going to create something like this you can read out here inside that directory you can run the several commands okay so if you want to start the project npm start if you want to run the project like build the project npm run build if you want to test the project npm test something like this we can do it okay before you doing all this step currently you see here where where i am there i am there in the react projects okay so whenever you are going to start npm start you have to go into the project then you have to type the command okay so if you if you see the folder uh, here there is a payroll is there right i have to go to inside the payroll 
and here i need to run the command npm start okay people what they will do here they will type 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 the npm start whenever they are typing it it will fail because there is no react project inside the directly projects where it is there inside the which folder payroll project that is the reason they are giving a cd cd means uh, change the directory from this folder you go to another folder that is nothing but a cd so now i need to say cd means change the directory from which folder to which folder i want to go to payroll payroll directory okay payroll let us enter so now if you see here currently i am in which directory payroll directory inside the payroll directory only my my project is there right now this is the correct directory sometimes you are getting confusion how to do this one just to close this one no problem at all okay go here and type a cmd go into your project and open a cmd and type the command call npm start so this npm start what it will do it will download first time it will download whatever the projects are required all the projects it will download from the npm side to our local machine okay and it will start uh, all it will start all our changes uh, it is going to do something like this okay so this is the default website they are coming so whenever you are typing it uh, localhost 3000 now this port is coming okay so see here by default edit and something we have it okay this is a small an animation they are just rotating it there is an animate method will be there we can rotate something like this okay this is a simple page we are going to do it okay something like so now i want to stop the project so if you want to stop the project very simple Control c here okay it will ask yes or no type s once you type yes now you go to your website and reload the page here you are going to get a not running and you will get an error something like that. so whenever you are running like this this meaning is you are not started your project that is the meaning okay whenever you you want to get the output what is the command we have to write it a npm start that is also inside the pair project not outside okay you can verify this one always so once this is done and automatically if you see automatically it will open any new tab it will show the changes like this you can open and your changes and something like this you can write okay so like this you can create a any react project